Watch your fucking mouth! <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> Jessica and welcome back to Seduce Me to the Demon War and we're back with Sam and this um now that we picked a trainer we picked a sergeant because I felt like you know being a brute would be appropriate for this and uh after we were done training he was acting weird towards Diana and I, I get the feeling that all the other um uh, advisors? I don't know. I don't really like Diana, so this should be really interesting. Anyway, let's continue. I walked into the room and let out a sigh. Today was tough, and I could tell that it was going to get much tougher late later in the week. I felt my feet slide across the floor in exhaustion, not used to the strenuous work I had to do. I sat down on the bench in front of the fireplace, staring into the flames as I let the relaxation finally hit my body. The warmth of the fire gave me a dull sense of calm, causing me to sigh and lean back against the bench. You have done well, child. Morgan Freeman, stop. You scared me. Huh? You again? Fear not. I come to observe you as you observe me. That just sounds like he's kind of stalking her. It's kind of weird. I tilt my head, confused as to what the voice meant. I looked around and sourced the room before turning my gaze back to the fire. Within it, I could barely make out an outline of eyes, which caused me to freeze in my spot. What the fuck? Oh, okay, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> that's really weird. What the hell? You're in the fire? I am a flame, but I am not the fire you gaze upon. I merely look through it to judge you and the one named Aumaris. But why? What do you want with Sam? What? You're judging us? Why? For what? That will be known soon. When the time is right, the one destined to take my power will be tested. I stared into the fire, lost and confused. Why were we being judged? Was this some sort of trick by the demon lord? As I thought of that, the flame intensified slightly. The demon lord. An evil being of this world. He is a curse plaguing this land. Yeah. You hate the demon lord as well? He is not worthy of life. But I care not enough to rise from the darkness to rid the world of him myself. Doesn't that kind of go against what he just said? He's not worthy, but you know, fuck him. It's okay, he can do whatever he wants. Like, what? What do you mean? I have been generous with you, child. You must now be patient. Before I could even think to protest, the eyes hidden within the flames vanished and the voice disappeared from my mind. As if it were a part of a dream I had woken up from. It's fucking weird. I shook my head and rubbed my head, taking it in. Some sort of spirit or guardian was watching over us. Apparently, it seemed to be strong enough to defeat the demon lord itself. Was it possible? Even more so, it was going to test one of us to take its powers? My mind instantly went to Sam. There was no reason for me to be the one to be tested, so it had to be him. How would he be tested, though? Shook my head. This was too confusing to think about right now. However, as I sat back and let my mind reorganize itself, I suddenly realized something. Where was Sam? That's like a good question. Where did he go? I, s well, I know everybody's training, but you know what I mean? Because like, after we were trained, Eric was there right away, so it's kind of weird. I stood and walked to the door, opening it and peeking out into the hall. Sam was nowhere in sight. What the? Sam was really late and come in. From what we discussed, he should have been back, or at least on the way. However, the distance to the training area was not that far. I began to wander the halls, trying to figure out where they were. Luckily, Sam made a lot of noise. Fuck you! <laughs> Sam? I rushed towards the noise, stopping at the opening door. Peering in, I guess as I saw the war room in disarray and as everyone seemed to hug the walls, watching the chaos that was breaking in the middle of the room. Don't- I knew it! I was about to say, don't tell me it's Seto and Sam. Oh my god. Sam and Seto were cl clashing swords to spear, with Sam's face full of rage and Seto's expression void of any emotion. Why are these two, like, ugh. You're too slow. Faster! Wait, is he training with Seto? You want me to go faster? Fine! Gotta go fast! Before my eyes, Sam and Sero became barely visible shadows through the air. Their weapons changed rapidly, almost like a multiple bullets crashing at once at once as they arched towards one another. What was going on? 
Thank you, bye, and the five wise moved towards the door to join me, still watching the fight. Sam was about to leave for the night, but then that jerk of Saro called him a weak coward. Well, you know how Sam is. He did actually try to walk away, but then Saro said that the war was his fault, so that got this whole shitstorm started. They've been at it ever since. What? Like, <laughs> why is the Seto an asshole in this one? The hell? I looked I looked back to Seto and Sam, still unable to make of their to make either of them out as they clash and fought. My eyes looked to Diana, seeing her lean against the wall with crossed arms. As I examined her, her eyes seemed to follow the fight almost masterfully. Was she able to see what the hell was happening despite their lightning speed? Why was she watching anyway? Sam, stop it. Keep at it, Seto. Don't, Don't let him stop. stop. Okay. I'm not going to assume here, but it looks like Darren is being a bitch, but I feel like this is just the trained Sam, if that makes sense. What the hell? I ran over to Diana, despite her not taking her eyes off the fight. Why aren't you stopping this, Diana? Uh, okay, I'm not going to attack Diana. We're not, we're not going to be like that. I'm just going to wait. I still wasn't understanding. Why was I not getting any answer? I turned my gaze to the fight, desperate to try and see what Diana wanted me to witness. Are you that weak, Incubus? You haven't landed a blow on me once! Shut your fucking mouth! <sighs> like father, like son! <laughs> oh shit, no! This is, that's an insult, he's gonna fucking kill him. I didn't understand why Soto was egging him on or insulting him, but Sam seemed to be up for the battle regardless of the fact. Using the insult as inspirational rage. However, from the faint outline of Sam that I could see, I noticed something was off about him. He was surrounded by a heavy green and red mixed, red mixed aura. The more I watched, the more aura seemed to build around the shape around Sam's body. I couldn't tell what it was, but it looked almost alive. Enough. What? What is it? I, okay, you know I, I don't mind that Sam sure is. It's okay. At once, Sam and Zero slid to the opposite sides of the open space, painting and ga pe panting and gasping for air. Around Zero was a faint white light that diminished with each breath you took. Around Sam, however, was a clear view of a tense red and green aura. It seemed to be flickering around Sam like flames, but it didn't seem to die even though the battle had... even with the battle being over. What the hell? What is that? What is it? What? Sam. What is it? What? what? Diana pushed him off the... Diana pushed up the wall and walked to Seto, wrapping an arm around him, making him gasp with a gesture. He looked at her in shock as she turned... as she turned to Sam with a hard gaze. It would seem that we have much to do before the siege. What are you talking about? All right, cool, just leave and don't tell me anything. All right, Diana. Diana seemed to ignore my question as she turned to the- as she turned and began to walk towards the room's exit with Seto on- in her arm. Sam, on the other hand, dropped to the floor and sat back against the wall, trying to calm down. Instinctively, I rushed over to him. Sam shut his eyes and forced himself to take a deep breaths. Each one seemed less labored than the last, but I could tell that he was working cal working to calm his rage. Sam? Uh, okay. The aura around Sam finally seemed to die down before Sam let out a heavy sigh and pressed his head against the wall. I could tell, th I could tell that the exhaustion was weighing heavily on him. So I simply sat beside him, waiting. Sam, what is going on? I don't know what you're talking about. Stop lying! Sam, you had a weird aura around you. I said I don't know! Sam closed his eyes and pressed his back against the wall, letting his head drop to the chair. To his chest. He generally didn't seem to know what was going on, but I became concerned. Why was his aura so strange? Are you sure he doesn't know? Because Sam seems the type to be like, I'm not gonna say anything's wrong with me because, you know, you don't need to worry about me kind of thing. My thoughts ran to the voice of, from the flame. Was this the start of whatever test he had in mind? Why were Diana and Seto involved, though? Please, please tell me Diana and Seto are not assholes in this playthrough. Okay? Because I like them, and Eric's root. They became my new ship, Cyana, and I don't want them to be ruined in this. <laughs> oh my god. Sam finally opened his eyes and looked at me. His irises flashed gold at the sight of me, but quickly returned to Emerald Green as he let out a sigh. Uh, Let's wait. I don't want to push him because he seems really pissed off right now. I knew Sam well enough to not pester him and let, it, and let him settle down. As he stared, he reached a hand up and gently ruffled my hair. Sorry you had to see that. Well, are you okay? Jeez. I shook my head and held his hand, kissing his palm. As I did, Sam chuckled and stood, ushering me to stand along with him. Sam gently took my hand and walked and walked to lead me out of the room. Hey, hold on! Uh... Shut up, Squirt. <laughs> squirt! What the hell? Oh, poor Matthew. Matthew! Hey, chill! Well, 
We're just gonna ditch everybody, I guess. I look, I look back to Norrin and Damien, holding Matthew back from the, pouncing from pouncing at Sam. But I continue with Sam out the room. As we walk down the hall, I looked at Sam, seeing the exhaustion in his eyes grow heavier and heavier. He has used a lot of energy. I, I wrapped my arm around him and guided him back to our room, sitting in bed and eventually flopping back into it with me. As he let out a relaxing grunt, I kissed his cheek. Everything okay? Yeah. Just exhausted. Man, fuck that guard. <laughs> I smiled and hugged him, ushering him to wrap an arm ushering him to wrap his arms around me and kiss my forehead. Something really has been weird, though. What is it? I agree. Both of us went silent as we lost in thought. I knew Sam was trying to determine what happened, but I was concerned over what the voice in the flame had said and how it reflected on Sam. The nightmare had made a little more sense, but why was I involved? Sam and I went to bed that night, both of us unsure what were going, what was going on and mildly fearful of what was going to happen. We, we couldn't speak about it without knowing all the pieces. We both knew better than to take stabs in the dark. My night was uneventful, but my morning wasn't the same. What does that mean? What was happening? I didn't expect to wake up with a hand over my mouth and an arm tight around my waist. What the fuck? I s tried to focus on my vision, but the sensation when the situation set in, I guess and struggled to see was keeping me captive. Quiet. Oh, oh okay. I stared wide out, seeing Seto staring ahead of me as he kept his mouth shut and held me against him with his other arm. What was even stranger was that he was using his holy magic, disabling me to use any of my energy to fight back. What is happening? The hell? I looked ahead to see the sight I never wanted to see. Diana straddling over Sam's waist as he slept, looking down at him with pure concentration. What was she doing now? Did this have to do with something that happened last night? Patience, child. I froze at the sound of my voice in my head. That The voice was then in the act too? She's merely following instructions. No harm will come to him. Uh. Oh no, okay, I need She's to save. Merely no, 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 we're not doing this. No, 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 no. Oh fuck, I don't. What the fuck? Do I trust Morgan Freeman or do I not? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I feel like. God damn it. Oh, fine, I'll be patient. I feel like I have to be. This was another test, another trail Sam had to go through. What kind of elaborate scheme was this? Looking at Diana, however, I could tell she didn't want to do whatever the voice had instructed. Her lips were curved into an almost distinguished grimace as she looked down at Sam. Diana let out a small sigh before pressing her index finger at the top of her head and dragging it down to her face, between her eyes, all the way down to her crotch. What the? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh god, okay, hang on. All right. The line that formed on Diana's skin seemed to grow and envelop her body in a strange purple light, changing her skin and almost shrinking its form. As the magic finally settled and faded away, I guessed at the sight. Diana's new body was my own, only without clothes. Every curve, every crevice of her body matched mine, and even the voice that came out of her mouth perfectly mirrored my- What the fuck is happening? Sam, wake up. I felt nauseous watching her run her fingers along Sam's hair. Just as I would. How the hell did she know anything about how Sam and I interacted intimately? This was creepy and gross, and I felt naturally, and I felt myself naturally sh struggle against Seto to be free. Ew! What the fuck is happening? What is Morgan Freeman doing? Oh my god! Sam's eyes fluttered open, and adjusted the sight of me straddling over him, his hips. As Diana gave him a perfect smile, I mentally panicked. What was he gonna do? Would he fall for this? No way. There was no way. He needs to know, because they have been together for two years already. He needs to know how she acts. This is getting fucking weird. <laughs> Sam's eyes trailed up and down Diana's body, just as like, like how he would with me, whenever he saw me without clothes. My heart was breaking a bit at the sight. Get the fuck off <gasps> me. Okay, good. Wait, what? I guess as Sam suddenly sat up, gripped Diana's neck, and began to squeeze, instinctively. Seto tightened his hold around me, most likely struggling to obey his previous commands to stay put. What the fuck do you think you're doing, bitch? Uh-oh. Uh, Sam, stop! A, l a large part of me felt relieved that Sam could see whatever illusion Diana threw on herself. A small part of me began to fear Diana's neck being snapped because of it. She continued to act like me in perfection as Sam gripped his- Sam- as she gripped Sam's wrist. Please don't tell me he's gonna kill her. And this also reminds me of that, um... Have you guys seen, um, the X-Men movies? I think it was the second one. Yeah, the second one. 
when Wolverine was in the tent and then Mystique came in and she was like, she changed herself into Jean. Do you remember that? That's kind of what this reminds me of a bit. It was mildly scary to see Sam holding Diana, who looked like a copycat of me. In, in a strange, messed up way, it was like watching a movie where I was a character in a scene, watching the man I love act with an actress playing with me. The more I watched Sam crush Diana's sex, the more I could imagine him doing that to me, which made me fearful. He would never hurt me, but to see it happening somehow who looked and act like me was another thing. If this is some kind of fucked up joke to you, I will end you right now. Diana began to cry, almost likely losing from most likely from losing air from Dan from Sam's death choke on her. As she coughed, uh, her body began to quake and lack the oxygen. Please, Sam, it's me. Shut the fuck up! Oh God, what the fuck? <laughs> Sam releases a hand from Diana's neck and pushed her into the stomach, lifting her off of him and shoving her off of his lap and against the far wall. Diana crumpled against the floor, curling herself over and coughing violently as she shook from the pain that obviously, obviously raked through her. Sam, however, jumped off the bed and walked to Diana, glaring down at her. You're not her. Where is she, Diana? Diana looked at him, tears running down her, my, eye, my eyes, as she gripped her neck. Sam, it's me. Stop it. Sam quickly lifted his foot, causing Diana to flinch and cover herself with her hand over her head, bracing for impact. While I expected Sam to fall for Diana's trick at, at the sight of my weakness, he let the kick he was charging up to fly into Diana's stomach, slamming her against the wall. He didn't stop, however, slamming her foot again and again into her, rebounding her against the wall like a soccer ball. Uh... Where is she? Okay, this is not good. Oh no, I don't like this. My body began to quake at the sight of Sam kicking Diana who very much continued to act like me, despite the barrage of pain Sam was inflicting on her. This was messed up and wrong. Why was Diana doing this? Why was she letting this happen? She is following my instructions as I demand. I don't think Diana has control over this. I feel like it doesn't matter what Morgan Freeman is saying right now, saying that um, she's following my instructions. I don't think she has control over herself. Neither does Seto, because Seto is following Diana's orders. And we all know Seto does whatever Diana says, so. Fuck your directions. I began to grow fearful of Sam, instinctively placing myself in Diana's place. It was only natural since she was acting like me right now. Despite, deep in my heart, I knew Sam would never do this to me. But the fear began to fester at the sight of him beating down a, of my Im an image of me. Fear not, child. He knows very well who he is attacking. I can hear his heart. Crying as yours is now. What do you mean? She despises doing this, but you have become the priority over the illusion. He pretends to see the succubus as she really is, as he tries to get his answer. Sam can't control his emotions, can he? That's pretty much what he's saying right now. A truly interesting demon. I shut my eyes. Diana was doing a job, and Sam obviously saw it through it. He wasn't attacking me. He was attacking Diana for tricking him and assuring him that that she was hiding me from him. I I opened I only opened my eyes to see Sam lift Diana by the throat and pin her against the wall, forming a sword in his free hand and lining the tip between her eyes. Even with the blade mere inches away from her face, Diana continued to act, crying and shaking in fear. Amara is. I WILL KILL YOU! Uh, with a blink, the hold on me vanished and Sam flew back from Diana, releasing her and slamming into the far wall. <laughs> I crumpled to the ground and quickly looked up to see Seto holding Diana close by his side, an animate a holy white aura. His eyes burned intense, deadly hatred as the white tinted magical barrier surrounded his and Diana's bodies. ENOUGH! Sam shook his head and jumped up, but at the sight of real me, he instantly dropped his sword and tacked Tackled me, wrapping his arms around me and hugging me tightly. Holy shit! You're okay! Sam! Oh my god, what a baby! Oh no! He's so emotional! This is not good because, like, I think that's what the, the guy is trying to test him with, right? If he can control himself? Because, if you guys remember, um, the theme song of the first game... The th that that song is actually Sam's theme song. I don't know if anybody knows that. I said that in my in, in the playthrough for the first one. That that's Sam's theme song. If you listen to the lyrics, you understand what I mean. <laughs> 
I stared into his shoulder, feeling him shake violently as he held me. My body couldn't help but shudder with him, feeling every ounce of his love as he gripped me tightly. He knew where his heart belonged, and it led to, back to me, even with an unbelievable odds attempting to sway him. I wrapped my arms around Sam and buried my face in his shoulder, nodding to him. I'm right here, Sam. Sam refused to let go, digging his fingers into my shirt and pulling me even closer to his chest. I could feel his heartbeat pound against my chest as he pressed, as he pressed me against him. I feel bad for Diana, what the fuck? I, however, peeked over at Sam's shoulder to see Diana shift back from my image to her own, collapsing against Seto. With ease, Seto lifted Diana into his arms as if she was like a bride who fainted, but continued to glare back at Sam's head. Finally, Sam lifted his head and looked at Seto, growing, growing a glare at his, of his own. Tell that bitch to stay away from me if she wants to keep breathing. I can hear you, brute. Oh no, what do I do? Oh, I need to save. I can hear you. Fuck my life. Okay, so if we tell Sam the truth, will that just make it difficult later on when Morgan Freeman brings more tests? Because you, you should tell your partner about everything, right? Especially Sam, because we're fucking marrying him. And I feel like we sh he should know things. But at the same time, I don't know if Diana's going to say why she did it. Because I feel, I feel like, like I said earlier, she's being controlled, not being instructed, as Morgan Freeman said. I just th think that she's being forced to say all these things and forced to do all these things. But Sam, but, eh, I don't know what to do. Should I let Diana do? Oh god, I, I don't even know why I'm asking you guys because I have news by myself. <laughs> god damn it. Alright, let's see what happens if I t let Diana talk. Sam was beyond angry and needed to let his emotions out. I knew better, but who knew if Sam would even, be, even believe that, that a voice told him to do so? If you ever touch her again! Seto glared down at, into a scroll. We didn't have a choice, filthy dog. Sam started to snarl and, sta and stand, but I gripped his hands, keeping him close to me. Sam. The fuck do you mean you didn't have a choice? We were told to try and trick you. Sam stared wide at Seto and Diana before glaring once again. You're a shitty liar. And you are a brain dead brute. Can you not feel it yet? Feel what? Open your eyes, Incubus. You are being watched by something powerful, and you are being tested. Sam closed his eyes and pressed his lips together, most likely taking in what they said, before he glared at Seto and Diana. Why? Seto continued to glare at Sam in silence, but Diana lifted her head and looked to Sam from Seto's arms. Because it said it will ensure our victory. What? Sam raised an eyebrow and slowly stared to and started to believe that this was a false reason, but I held his arm, looking up at him in hope and earnest. Sam took a moment to look at me before sighing and shaking his head. What said that? Some powerful being. I don't know why, but I can feel that this being is more powerful than any of us. Is that it? Diana nodded and rested her head on Sedro's chest, causing him to hug her body against him. It won't speak its name, but we're certain we'll find out what it is. Sam nodded before looking to the ground. Can you go now? Wow, this is getting- Okay, I, I I really didn't think that they would say anything, but what the fuck? Fuck Morgan Freeman, not the real one, but this one in the game. <laughs> what the fuck? Without another word, Seto walked out of the room with Diana, most likely to help her recover for the training day ahead. I'm going to kick the shit out of him in training. At last, we were alone. I let her aside and wrapped my arms around Sam, laying my forehead against his shoulder. You okay? No, I'm not. Whatever this thing that keeps testing me is, it got you involved. Sam wrapped his arms around me and buried his head in my hair, letting out an aggravated sigh. I'm sorry. Diana was pretending to be you, and I... I just... I could hear the regret in his voice, slightly breaking my heart. I knew deep down that he would never hurt me and that he was just trying to find me. I was wise enough to know the reason for his anger. Knowing Sam, because he's not Eric. Eric is like, he needs reassurance. Because that's what I get from his character. Because the way he acts. I'm fucking psychoanalyzing all these characters. But Eric is like, he needs reassurance. But I feel like Sam does too, but not in it's okay way. Because he'll be like, it's not. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Because <laughs> he'll keep blaming himself. It, will not, it won't help him enough. Because for Eric, it's enough for you to say, it's okay, Eric. But if you say, it's okay, Sam, I just feel like it's not enough for him. Um, but I'm going to try. Sam was distraught and I needed to ease his worries. I understood him perfectly. I hugged Sam to me and kissed his cheek and he, as he trembled in, his, in my arms. 
He wrapped his arms back around me and simply let a silent... Simply let the silence pass between us. What the fuck is going on? That's what I would like to know. I didn't I didn't know what to say, so I simply held him until the time was until it was time to train. This is getting fucking weird. I don't know what the hell's happening. I headed towards the west side of the castle, knowing Sergeant would be either there outside expecting me or would arrive shortly after me. Nevertheless, I was ready to train again with him. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't expect what I was I wasn't expecting to see another male on the field, branding a large warhammer. He seemed very intimidating, but I seemed less threatened by it than I when I first met Sergeant. He, however, had a lar- had a hard gaze in my direction. He kind of looks like he kind of looks like male Hawk from Dragon Age Two, like Garrett Hawk. That's what he looks like right now. Oh my God, who? Human, you do not belong here. I stared at the stranger, seeing him raise his warhammer and slam it into the ground in front of him. As the hammer impacted the earth, began to quake, and a large crack in the earth began to form, tearing its way towards me. Oh, oh god, oh god, jump, 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 what the fuck? I instantly jumped, forcing energy beneath my feet to push higher into the air. As I did, the crack of the earth ripped through the spot I was standing on previously. I quickly landed beside the broken earth, glaring hard at the stranger and leaving him as an enemy, enemy in my eye. Yeah. Enemy in my mind. Attack if you dare, human! Uh, I felt myself snarled as the rage suddenly bubbled in my core, causing me to rush forward and wind up in front of him with a raised fist. I slammed my fist into the being's chest, but quickly broke out of my rage state, as my hit didn't send him flying back. The pain that jolted through my hand caused me to jump back and grip my fingers tightly. It was like trying to deck a steel wall. Yeah, that's not gonna go well. I was pretty sure I had broken my hand from the force I put behind it. Oh god, that's eh, that sounds like it hurts. What the hell? I quickly looked to my opponent. He lifted his warhammer and arched it into slam it onto my body. The pain within my hand coursed through my body, leaving me frozen. Enough! What? Oh, okay. It's freezing above, right above my head. I stared at the surface that would have crushed me, slightly shaking at the realization of the situation. I could have been pulverized. Hey, Sergeant. Where the hell? Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> I slowly looked to Sergeant to see him walking over from the forest line. The stranger lifted the war. The stranger lifted his warhammer and, re- and rested it on his shoulder as he stepped back from me. This was a. This was planned. Your hand, all right. I looked down to see my hand, fully taking in the sight of how mangled it became. Oh God! Oh no! It was quickly swollen and bruising, and I could feel the uh, dislocation of the couple of fingers. Maybe it was from the adrenaline rush through me, but it had blocked me from screaming at the pain. Or maybe it was just, it was me getting stronger. I think you're in shock, that's what I think, personally. <laughs> Sergeant grimaced at the side as he walked over, taking my hand and observing it. Yeah, it's fucked up pretty good. Right. I'm sorry, sir. No, you did your job. Stand down for now, Dan Thulir. Looked at the stranger to see him nod and take another step back away from me. Sergeant, however, grasped my hand and causing a jolt of pain to rush down my arm. Ow! I clasped my hand, weaving his fingers between mine and burying the, his fingertips into my knuckle, causing another rush of pain. Instinctively, I tried to pull away, but his grip on, was tight, warning me to stay put or I would cause more damage to the already w- wounded hand. I stared at my hand, seeing a sergeant form red or energy around it. While it was gravely and uncomfortable to feel the muscles and bones in my hand shift and shudder under my skin, I felt my hand slowly healing and swelling die down. That sounds disgusting. I'm just saying that right now. Soon enough, my hand looked completely undamaged. Sergeant released my hand and crossed his arms. There. Better. I observed my hand a little longer, bending my fingers and moving my hand through the air. There was no pain, nor there was there any discomfort. It was completely healed. I looked at Sergeant and smiled, nodding. Yeah, thank you. Sergeant gave me a simple nod before com- becoming stern. Now, why do you think your attack didn't work? I took a moment to think of the answer. There were ma- there were many things of why... There were many things that could have gone wrong. I looked at Dan Thuriel. This sounds like Thrunduil from uh, The Hobbit, if you guys remember that. He's fucking awesome. Love him. Serving now that I had the chance to, without my rage, tinted vision. He definitely looked strong, but not strong enough to be a wall, wall of steel. Then again, he was no training dummy, neither, and uh, he was no training dummy either, and I couldn't decimate one of those even after a full day of training. He had pretty tough looking pecs. That's one way to describe it. <laughs> I pressed my lips together, trying to come up with an answer. Don't know, I'm too weak. I wanted to go to the logical route. You aim for his chest, and the dude is wearing a chest plate. That's 
seems logical. It made sense. His chest was built like a fortress. At the fact that he was obviously a demon and he had a recipe for a normal-sized Hercules, there was no way I could break through his, his ribs. Sergeant nodded. He's my right-hand guy. Trained him for years and helped him become a living tank. Not mm. even a sharp blade can cut through his chest. Sir Dwight at a, a Dan Thriel. I don't know how to fucking say this guy's name. As he nodded and pointed at his chest with a fist, I could almost hear the hardness of his skin bounce underneath his armor. Sergeant stepped towards uh, Dan Thriel. Thr I don't fucking know this guy. And turned him to face me, pointing a thumb at him. You're fighting a demon. We're not weak like you humans are. We are faster, stronger, and know more than your entire race okay. could ever understand. Okay, okay, I understand that part. You don't need to gloat about it, though. I glared a bit. The insults of my race were uncalled for, but Sergeant crossed his arms, settling into his powerful stance to remind me of who was in charge. But demons are mortal. We all have our flaws. You just need to know how to find them. Well, how am I supposed to find them? He attacked me as soon as he saw me. Welcome to war, human. Yeah, that's kind of no a dumb thing to say. No one if you're ready or not. Yeah. And they'd rather see you dead than in their way. A harsh reality. He was right. I was going into war and I was going to get attacked without a second thought, especially because I was human. I nodded and looked to the floor, causing Sergeant to let out a sigh. Listen, there's this story we used to pass around in our tribes to inspire our young. Want to hear it? Sure. I looked up at Sergeant, raising an eyebrow but nodding out of curiosity. Stre Sergeant stretching his neck to the side and looked to the sky. Long time ago, a pair of demons were after the marriage of a grand chief. One was as strong as a thousand men and could lift an entire castle off the ground with her hand. The other was Damn. meek, but he was as loyal as a person could possibly be. Okay. The chief demanded that they fight for his hand, and so... A mighty duel was called at the edge of the highest mountain. Both demons faced off, and when the battle began, the mighty demon struck first, causing the meek demon to defend himself. I began to imagine it in my head, a large battle between a monster, a monster de demoness and a small frail demon. The demoness had the upper hand, but some, something told me the meek demon would win. Sergeant continued. The weak demon ducked and dodged every attack the larger demon threw at him until finally... He spotted a weakness and used it. With all of his might, the demon plunged his small dagger into his opponent's hand, rendering her weaponless. The smaller demon won and became one of the most powerful brute demons of his time with the noble chieftain at his side. Okay, the beginning of like when Sergeant was telling the story, I just imagined Diane and said, oh, is that just me? Like, that's what I imagined. <laughs> wow. Sergeant raised an eyebrow at me. Do you understand now? There's a reason why weaker demons still survive in battle. Just use your brain. Basically, he's saying use your common sense and you'll survive. <laughs> I nodded, understanding his lesson. I had to take my time and find a weakness. Dan Thrith, um, that guy, uh, <laughs> was an opponent. Someone I didn't know. Everything about him was a mystery and I had to learn about him properly to fight back. Sergeant nodded to me before walking away towards the tree line, stopping it and turning and... Stopping and turning to lean against the bark of the tree he managed to land by. Denthalir, beat her ass to the ground. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, Denthalir, whatever the hell her name is. Wait, what? I suddenly looked at um, this guy, seeing him quickly take off his sword hammer and attempt to slam it onto the ground, onto my head. Luckily, I was able to jump back in time, seeing the hammer slam once again into the ground to form a small crater in the earth. That could have been me. Oh, great. I focused my gaze on the guy with the long-ass name, prepared to dodge another attack. My rage my rage flared and the red tint of my vision came back, causing my opponent to be covered in black aura. What surprised me, however, was it was configured. Certain parts of his body were pulsing with energy while others barely had black aura animating from them. I hadn't noticed it before until I focused on it. I barely reacted in time to... I barely reacted in time to a second attack from the guy with the... A fucking difficult name, Warhammer, because he, how how focused I became. I had to put the battle in, into perspective. I was fighting him, and at the same time, I had to study him. It was the most difficult multitasking I ever had to do. The barrage of attacks continued as I continued to duck and dodge each one. At the same time, I tried to find some way to fight back. I couldn't dodge forever. Then I saw it. His hammer wasn't glowing at all. If I was correct, then a simple Warhammer... If I was correct, then it was a simple warhammer. That was my answer, but what was I going to do with it? I quickly noted the built of it. 
It was a solid hammer with an intricately wrapped pummel. However, there was a weak spot on it, something that would break it like Achilles' heel. As I dodged another attack, I managed to glimpse at the small crack in the hammer. It was small, but I knew it was but 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 I knew if anything about cracking material. Then I knew it, if I applied my attack directly to it, I had a chance to split the hammer open. I smirked as I fully let my rage con consume my thoughts, making my, the war hammer my target. I charged it at this guy at full speed and leaped into the air, bringing my hand back to while he recovered from his previous attack. With the crack of the hammer as my mark, I swing my uh, I swinged and slammed my hand into it, causing it to erupt and split open. What? Uh oh. The other thing that left on the hammer was the pummel, which left his hand open wide open for me. I snarled and kicked his wrists, making him jump and step back. Enough! Immediately, Dan three uh, God damn, jumped back and rubbing his hand with an amused but slightly proud smirk on his face. I jumped back as well, focusing on breathing and calming down. The red haze vanished from my sight. I looked to the I looked to the approaching sergeant. You proud of me, huh? I blushed a bit as he gave me a couple of claps of approval. Oh hey, cool, we got his approval, he's clapping for us. Now you're thinking like a warrior. Nice. I couldn't stop the wide eyed wide arching smile across my face. I felt extremely proud that I would I was praised like a warrior. I wasn't anywhere close to how uh God, why? But for the work I had done, I was getting there. As the day went on, I was giving more obstacles to deal with. I had to maneuver around dummies to get to my target and look, to get to my target and fight off the two attackers and fight off the two attackers at once. It was mind boggling experience, but I managed to get through them at the end. However, I could tell that something was on Sergeant's mind. By the end of training, Sergeant couldn't tear his eyes away from the castle. I eventually looked over over to to barely see a figure standing at the bow of the balcony. Who was he staring at so hard? Is it Diana? Who's it? A hand on my shoulder broke me from my thoughts, causing me to look over at Sergeant in surprise. You're done for the day. Get some rest. Prepare yourself for tomorrow. Uh, okay. That's weird. Alright. Well, I'm gonna end this episode of Seduce Me here. That was pretty interesting and really intense, and I don't like it. Like, what happened with Diana and Sam? That kind of just, like... Whoever this voice is... I don't know if you can be trusted or not. I don't know what's happening. And uh, if you do, please do not spoil anything in the comments. And if you want to talk about what's happening, use spoiler tags, please. Just, you know, so I don't see it or anybody who hasn't played this doesn't see it. But yeah, so tell me what you guys are thinking so far. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake, you know. <laughs> Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it, it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys are enjoying seduce me in my videos and stuff like that anyway for anybody who's asking by the way to say who are you doing next i i forgot to mention in the other videos there's a poll in the description where you can vote for the next incubi brother that i'm going to do after sam's route so if you want to go ahead and vote there i don't even know who's winning but whoever is the winner i will do next anyway i'll see you guys on the next video bye